This is problem 9.12, and we like to find the centroid of this composed area. So as we recall the definition of centroid, so here is in 2D, so we have x equals the integral of the centroid of differential of area divided by the area. But when we have composite areas, we can convert that integral in a summation of the composite areas times the area of each of the segments that we choose to divide our figure into. And the same goes for the, for the y direction. So we can say that this will be y this is the centroid of each of these segments for the area of this segment divided by the total area. So we have to divide our figure in as many shapes that we know the centroid. So I can divide this into one figure over here. This is one. This will be my second figure, which is a square, which will be equals to two. Then I have this over here is a circular plate, right? That will be over three. And my another circular plate, but empty, will be four. So I have four sections, so this summation will be four figures. So what I will do is we'll do a table. And since I said we have four figures, I will divide this in four. One, two, three, and four. So, and here I will say the number of my section, then I have the area of my sections, and then I have where the X is located and where the Y is located. One, two, three, four. So, the area of the first figure is that triangle, and I will see that this is the base is three, the height is also three because this radius is three, so it will be three times three divided by two. So it will be my area of that triangle is 4.5, and all is in inches squared. Then my second is a rectangle, which base is three, and the height is three, so this will be nine inches square. The third one is a circular plate, but only one fourth. So you know that the area of a circular plate is pi r squared, but we divide it by four, will be pi, and the r is three square, and we divide it by four. And the fourth one is also a circular plate, but only half of it, and it's an area that I'm subtracting from my figure. Therefore, it's a negative area, pi, the, the radius is one, and it's divided by two. So those are the fourth areas. I have to find where each of the centroid, the localized centroid, so this is for each of the areas is located. And very important is that those um, uh, values are measured from my origin, from here. So this is the origin. So when we want to find where the X is located, so we know that the, the location of the centroid for a triangle is one third of the thick side, right? So that will be one inch from here, but I have to add those three because I have to measure it from my origin. So when I see where the centroid for X is located, it will be located at negative four. So it will be located at negative four. My Y will be located at one because it's also one third of the height and the height is three. So it will be located at one. In the second figure, I have to, well, that is attached to the origin, so I don't have to add anything. So it will be located at one half of the base, which is three, so it will be located at negative 1.5. And the y will be also located at 1.5, but this time positive. In the case of a, a plate, we have to recall, right, from the tables, 
that the centroid of a plate is located at 4 r over 3 pi from here. So I, and this is also attached to my coordinate system, so I don't have to add any, but I have to put this value. So that will be equals to 4, and the radius is 3 over 3 pi. And the y is located in the same position, 4, 3 over 3 pi. Finally, we got the last one. The last one, as you see, is located actually in x. It will be 0 because it's located exactly at my coordinate system. And the y is located at the same position, right? So the y here is 4r over 3 pi. But in this case, I is, r is equal to 1. So this is 1. Now that we have all the values in my tables, we can apply these formulas. So let's apply these formulas, and then x will be equals to, the summation will be the summation of the 4, which is equals to. The first one will be negative 4 times 4.5 plus negative 1.5 times 9 plus 4, well this 3 goes with this 3, so I can write just 4 over pi times pi 3 squared over 4, and then I have, I will write it even though it will give me 0, but it's just to make sure that we understand that we have to include all the values. So that will be 0, divided by the total area. The total area I already calculated, and the total area, if you add all these values, I have it right here, is 19.0 inch square. So that, adding all those values, I get the total area is 19 over here. If you do the calculations, and please do, I will find that x is equal to negative 1.18 inches. And I will do exactly the same for y. In this case, I apply this equation right here, so I do 1 times the local area is 4.5, then plus 1.5 times 9, plus 4, well, this 3 also goes with that one, so I can write pi, 4 over pi, multiply by pi, 3 squared, divided by 4. And then I have plus 4 over 3 pi, and in this case, I have to multiply by this negative area because I'm subtracting the area from the figure and divided by the total area with this 19. Please input those values into your calculator and you will get that the value for the centroid is 1.39 inches. So it means that my centroid is located to the negative axis of x and the positive axis. So it's a little bit beyond one inch in the x-axis, so it will be around here, and it's above one inch. So it will be located somewhere around here, where this is 1.39 inches, and this is 1.118 inches. So this is my centroid of the whole figure. And that's the solution for this problem.